welcome to a new video in this video i will be telling you guys how i calculate my videos let's begin shall we sorry about that so once again welcome to a new video in this video i'll be telling you how i calculate my videos so let's begin shall we So here is my editing screen. So this is the DaVinci Resolve. So you, as you all know, I edit my videos on DaVinci Resolve. So I'm creating a couple of nodes. I'll be labeling each node one by one. So this is the white balance node, the very first node. And the second node, I'm going to name it uh, color wheels where we'll be adjusting the highlights, the shadows and all that. And the third one is going to be contrast or the S curve. I'll be showing you one by one. And this is the node that will convert the log footage to the rec 709. This is where I'll be putting my LUT, the new LUT that you can find in the description. And here is some global adjustment, you know, if any skin tone adjustment or anything required. And the very last is sharpening. So in the very first node, we have to fix the white balance. So we have the white balance picker here. We just have to click whatever is white there. So that is the very first step that I do. And then I go to the fourth node. And here I convert the log footage to the Rec 709. You can find these uh, log to Rec 709 footage in, on all camera websites. It's free. So I downloaded this from Sony. So S log 2 to Rec 709. Then I come to the color wheels where you adjust the highlights and the shadows. As you can see, some of it is clipped here. So you need to, you need to bring it down. Then in the contrast node, I adjust the, I make it, I make a, an S curve. You know, it sorts of create a really good punchy contrast to your videos. Okay, so this is the primary color correction. Okay, we have done almost primary color correction. Then we add in our LUT. So this is my LUT. Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, here it is. So I just double click it. So this is the LUT. I really put it in 100%. So if you don't like the full effect, you can turn down the gain as well. But I put it in 100%. So if you want to adjust a little bit more, you come to this global adjustment. But uh, I think it looks good. And finally, the sharpening here, I add some sharpening to the footage. So make sure you don't go below 0.45. So something like 0.47, it's good to me. And uh, you know, in the camera, you need to turn down the sharpening so that you can add sharpening in post. That's what I do. So you can see the before and after, it's a uh, big big difference so now I can summarize it what I've done so let's disable all nodes one by one so the very first node that I did is the white balance I fixed the white balance and then we did the conversion LUT from log to rec 709 but you can see the highlights and the shadows are really clipped here so you need to fix that in the before the LUT, that is the color wheels. Then I added a S curve. So it adds in some contrast. Let me rename this to S curve. Okay, uh, that's it. And then we add in our LUT. 
now it's like more cinematic now the final step now you can see uh, if the skin tone is off or you know if you feel it's not in the normal range you can just adjust that in the global adjustment so how i do is i draw a mask like this a circle mask Okay, just a second. You turn down the softness, and you can see if I right-click, show wave. Yeah, in the vector scope, this is the skin tone indicator. It should be on or towards the right side of this line. So if you feel it's off, you can adjust it coming in this offset to left or right. But here I can see that it's already on the line, which is perfect. So I don't need to adjust any skin tone right here. Now, if you don't see this line, you can turn this on here. Skin tone indicator. So this is the play. This is the line where normally skin tones should lie. So anything beyond that line or away from that line will look abnormal. So you need to make sure that skin falls on that line falls properly on or towards the right side of that line so that's pretty much it guys i uh, hope you all learned something from this uh, don't forget to check out the lut uh, in the description i have left a link in the description so thank you all for watching and don't forget to give me a thumbs up uh, don't forget to subscribe I'll be telling you how I calibrate my videos.